Folks, I am here with some absolutely fantastic news. It's not often that I get to bring you good news, but boy, do I have some good news for you. Paula Jean Swearingen has just won her Democratic primary. She will now be facing off against Republican Shelley Moore Capito in November. I cannot stress how huge this is for the progressive movement. This is a huge victory for us. And I honestly am shocked, not that you know, uh, she won because I believed in her. I knew she was running a fantastic campaign, but it's almost surreal to experience any victory in this era in American politics. And she didn't just win. She won pretty comfortably. Now, some things were a little bit bizarre throughout the process as the results came in. Uh, for example, as Brand New Congress points out, the Washington Post just reported for a while that she had uh, zero votes. They reported the correct percentage for Richard Ojeda, but did not report her votes. If you go to NBC News, they didn't even have a picture for her, which is weird because she is a candidate now with quite a bit of name recognition, so they should have at least one photo for her. And the New York Times took forever to call this, but none of that matters because she won, and this is huge. This is absolutely huge. She is a fighter, and out of all of the people who are running for Congress, I can tell you she's one of the real ones. I think that we have so many great candidates this year, but she's one of them that I believe in the most because... You know, this is a fight for survival. The way that she talks about politics, the way that she is able to articulate the issues that West Virginians are dealing with uh, because she's lived it. I mean, this is exactly what the country needs, what West Virginia needs is someone like her. Now, I had people when I was tweeting about the results coming in ask me why I wasn't rooting for Richard Ojeda, why I didn't support Richard Ojeda. And I will link you to my interview that I did with Paula Jean Swearingen down below. We just did this interview a couple of weeks ago, so it's still relevant. Um, and there's a couple of reasons why I don't support Richard Ojeda. So first of all, back in 2018, when he was running against Carol Miller, I thought that he ran a fantastic campaign and I was rooting for him. Although I did have my res reservations, I had my skepticism when he announced that he was running for president. And then come to find out, you know, he was wishy-washy on Medicare for All. Uh, he admitted that he supported Joe Manchin over Paula Jean Swearingen. When you go to his website, he doesn't actually really have a platform. Um, he was refusing to debate Paula Jean Swearingen. Uh, he wasn't really consistent when it comes to Cole and what he would do. But I don't want to beat up on Richard Ojeda because... You know, it's over now. He's out of this race. Um, maybe there's, you know, a position he can run for in the future. But just to kind of explain my position and why this is good, why the progressive won in this instance. Paula Jean Swearingen is the progressive, the true progressive. And, you know, she is a fighter for people in West Virginia. And I don't know much about Richie Robb, but I know I have the utmost faith in Paula Jean Swearingen. So now we turn our eyes to November. We have to try to flip that seat. And, man, this is going to be a really tough battle. This is a statewide race. This isn't like, you know, uh, house races that we've been fighting for, which we've kind of become more uh, comfortable with. This is a statewide race. It's going to be tough. But if you live in West Virginia, now is the time to sign up. And if you don't live in West Virginia, you can phone bank for Paula Jean Swearingen. Uh, you can uh, not just make calls for her. You can, uh, I believe, text bank for her. I don't know if she has that set up yet, but I'm sure that she will now that she's going up against the Republican. And uh, let me just say that every single penny counts. I know that we're all struggling during a pandemic, but if you have money to donate to Paula Jean Swearingen, she's going to need that boost right now. Because if we want to win, she's going to need to make you know national headlines. And you can already see the reluctance of mainstream media to cover her appropriately, You know, not having a picture for her, uh, refusing to call it until the very, very end. This is going to be a tough battle, but guess what? Paula Jean Swearingen can win. And if she wins and makes it to the U.S. Senate, you now have the best senator in the United States. I would argue she's better than Bernie Sanders. So as a country, if we actually want change, if we want legislation enacted that reflects the will of the people, this is our best bet at doing that. And I cannot tell you how hard we have to fight to get her elected because this is a game changer. If she were to win, this would be a game changer. And think about this for a minute. Let me be petty if you'll indulge me. Uh, she lost her primary against Joe Manchin back in 2018. She won her primary this time. But imagine her confronting Joe Manchin as a fellow senator, a fellow senator, a colleague, not just a constituent or an activist. 
she would push him to do better. Because once you actually become a U.S. senator and you're representing a state, you know, she's going to be able to hold him accountable more easily. Uh, so I, I just cannot tell you how thrilled I am with these results. Paula Jean Swearingen pulled it off. And um, I honestly don't even know what to say. Uh, when I saw the results, I got chills. I was in a sense of disbelief. And my heart was pounding watching the results come in. And uh, she won. This is really, really great news. Um, congratulations to Paula Jean Swearingen. We're rooting for you, and, uh, you know, we're just getting started. We're going to fight for you because we know that if she wins, she's bringing us to Congress with her. You know, you, you, you know, you know, the, you know the thing, thing, thing. You're getting nervous, man, man.